going on guys welcome back to another video this is a video that somebody in our community discord sent in i thought there's some cool stuff going on here there's this crazy texturized glow so we're going to talk about creating something like this within adobe premiere some really cool psychedelic rave style things cool little match cut there going into the eye and some other really cool things so we're going to experiment we're going to show you some different variations of how you can use this and it's all going to be very easy to pull off we're only going to be using adobe premiere in this one just because we've been pumping out so much after effects stuff of course you can use the exact same effects and steps in after effects because all of these premiere effects are also within ae so let's go ahead and hop into it if you guys are new here consider subscribing leave a like if you guys do enjoy it comment below what you'd like to see next this was sent in by somebody you guys put me on to so many great videos here so let's get into it we're going to start piecing together the look of our effects all right guys and before we do that a quick word from the sponsor of today's video skillshare skillshare is an online learning community it's curated specifically for learning meaning there's no ads they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. I'm a big fan of all the variety of the classes. There really is something for everybody to help you improve. I've watched a ton of editing and 3D courses, but I've also seen a lot of business and lifestyle courses, which have been teaching me a lot of new useful things as well. Recently, I've been watching this intro to After Effects, creating a personal animation by Chris George. Some unique stuff helping me up my motion graphics game. Skillshare is incredibly affordable, less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. If you guys would like to learn more, check out the link at the top of my description. So the very first thing that we want to do here is we want to duplicate our footage and then start placing our effects on that duplication. So once you have the clip that you'd like to place the effect on, you select it, hold down the alt key on your keyboard, and while holding down alt, you want to click and drag up while still holding alt. That's going to create a duplication. Make sure it's lined up in a video layer above just like that. So the number one thing that stands out with this is these glowing edges. So let's go ahead and start with that and then we'll start building on and showing you some more cool things. So First off, you wanna to go to your effects and presets. For me in the color workspace, uh, it's over here in the bottom left. If you're in a different workspace, it's probably over here on the right. So go ahead and search for find edges. It's under stylize here and place that on the top clip. So it's gonna get super bright. What we wanna do is invert this so that we don't have this bright light. So over in the top left here where it says effect controls, you wanna go and find the fine edges effect that we just placed on here. Show the control for that and you want to check on this invert box. So now the edges are the main thing in the scene and everything else is darker, which is going to help a lot when it comes to blending the footage. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and do that now. So we're going to select that top clip and then under opacity here again in our effect controls, what we want to do is change this blending mode drop box here. This is where you can really experiment with it because the different blending modes are going to change the entire look and feel of this effect. For the majority of what I've been doing, I really like how screen looks. So I'm going to put it on screen because we have this own separate clip just for the edges. If we go to our color workspace and in the top right under Lumetri color, you can change any of the contrast, the exposure, and it's only going to change that for the edges, not for the bottom clip. So if you want to change a little bit of the look, maybe to make them pop more or maybe drop the black so that there's not as many crazy lines going on, you guys can do that throughout this entire workflow to make any changes and tweak to your liking. Also, another optional step that you guys can take at this point is adding a glow effect. So there is VR glow, but in my opinion, it doesn't really work that well. So you could use VR glow. You could grab your Luma threshold and just crank that to the left and then tick on use tint color you're going to see how you can have some of that glow anytime you're adding any glow you always want to lower the radius and you see if i lower the radius here it's going to be highlighting those lines more and not just kind of spread out everywhere so lower the radius if you don't want to use vr glow you can use any other glow such as sapphire glow from the sapphire plugins or red giant if you guys have those paid plugins i also have my own glow effect in my preset pack 2 on my website if you're interested in that in the martin garrix video there's a lot more texture and smoothness to this so we're going to go and add that at the end before we do that let's talk about some things you can do to change up the look if you select this and go to your effect controls you can of course take your scale take your positioning this is its own layer with a different blending mode so you don't have to have it completely lined Lined up. You guys can change it around if you want. It's up to you. I'm going to keep it normal. Another thing you can do is search for an HLS effect and under color correction here, you have this color balance HLS. Let's go ahead and drop that on. With this effect, if we scroll down here in our effect controls, you can take this hue slider and you can change this any which way to mess around with the colors of your glowing edges here. Another cool thing to do is add animations into this using keyframes. If you want this to cycle through different colors, all you need to do is scroll to the beginning of your video here and then over 
over on the left, we're gonna create a little keyframe. So for hue, just click this toggle animation button, drag for as long as you want the cycle to last, and then you just take this and make any adjustment. So I'm just gonna take it and crank it to the right, you're seeing how that's cycling through, so three different rotations. And now if I go to the beginning, you'll see my keyframes here, and I press play. This is gonna cycle through different colors as we go along. If you take that keyframe and you move that a little bit to the left, this is gonna be a lot faster cycle, so it's gonna be super fast. As you can see, so you can use that keyframe trick to animate any different effect that you put on here. And then the last step for this tutorial, guys, like I said, we are going to keep it short, sweet and easy. We're going to go ahead and add some texture like in the original video. So to do this, what I like doing is going to my effects and presets and searching for the noise effect. So we're going to go ahead and find that it's under noise and grain. Just drag that onto your top clip once more. And now we're going to change a few specific things so that we get the noise working the way that we want. So let's scroll to the bottom of our effect controls here and find that noise effect. We're going to check off use color noise because whenever you use color noise, it kind of just makes it look like it's underexposed. So we're going to check that off. Now you see how the noise is sort of scattered across our entire scene. Let's change around our blending mode so that we can get this noise in only specific areas. So we're going to scroll up and back in our blending mode where we originally had it on screen, this is where you can experiment. If you guys want some crazier looking stuff, again, go for the hard light, soft light, but if you wanna have it the way that I like, I like using color dodge here, and in my opinion, that puts the grain in the right places. It's not all over the place and crazy, it just gives it this nice texture, and it sort of smooths out that roughness that you see a lot with the find edges effect. And that is really about it, guys. Super cool looking stuff. Another thing I want to say, if you press play here, this is kind of like a quarter quality um, preview. So if you really want to see what it's going to look like, you just want to select that layer, go up to sequence and click render selection. And it'll give you the full preview in this quality here that you see whenever I'm paused. Another quick little tip before I leave you guys, mess around with the order of these effects. If you change these around, you can get very different looks. So if I take my VR glow or whatever glow plugin or preset you guys are using, and I take that and put it below my noise, you're going to see how we have something completely different here. Now it kind of looks like a film scan, very grainy. And if we just go through here and change around some things, for example, lowering the exposure so it's not so blown out of control, you get this really cool kind of glowing grain here. And if you take your exposure, put that back up, now you can see those fine edges again. There's some really cool things you can do with this. Just changing my blending mode, I put it on difference, put the noise above the glow again, and I got another really cool outcome here. So I think you can really put together some awesome looking stuff, some really experimental things. So you get this really cool mix of this nice stylized grain and this cool glitching glow effect. Last thing I'm going to say, I already have a part two plan for this where we build on this some more. I've been experimenting a lot with different looks and finding things that I think really work well with these kind of effects. So if you're excited for that, drop a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. We got a 3D tutorial coming next and then another Adobe Premiere tutorial building on this. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting and I'll see you guys in the next one.